Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loca here with a brand new series. Now this new series is called Dear John and I'll explain it to you right after this. That's right folks, one of the most prominent figures in the cruising industry is Carnival brand ambassador John Heald. If you're unfamiliar with John, he is on the front lines of interacting with customers when it comes to questions and concerns about Carnival Cruising. He has a Facebook page which is uh, very lively. He does a lot of Facebook Live and he goes to the Facebook page to answer the questions and the concerns of everybody who, uh, who pings him. Now the, this is a, a ripe territory for interesting cruise topics. Uh, part of the motivation for our series Cruise Wars uh, is based off of some of the interaction I've seen over on John's Facebook page. So uh, if you haven't seen Cruise Wars, I will leave a link on the top right here and down in the description below. And uh, it's all about people losing their mind over cruising topics. But now to the series at hand. Uh, again, I'm going to go weekly over to John's page and I'm going to find a story that is almost uh, I've read this story that I'm presenting today more than once wondering if it was actually a fake story uh, Just somebody trolling John, but it's too good to pass up So uh, this is episode one of dear John Tal animal terror Dear John My cruise on the fascination was going so well You arranged a table for two so we did not have to eat with strangers The weather has been good but then Carnival did something that is not so funny, but is disturbing and cruel. My mom and I walked into the cabin tonight back from dinner, and there was a towel monkey hanging from our ceiling. It scared me and my mom witless. The room was very dimly lit, and I didn't have my glasses on. Two days later, and I never got over the horrid feeling when I first saw it. I asked the front desk to change my cabin attendant. How could he do this to paying customers? They told me that this was a cruise line tradition. If that is true, why did they not do it on my first cruise with mom on the Carnival Victory? Carnival should ban this. I am sure that mom and me were not the only ones scared out of my minds by this. Dear John, so not to discount the fact that people get afraid, that people are, have phobias of the weirdest things, uh, no disrespect to the person that had this traumatic experience, uh, but I did want to talk a little bit about this letter that John sent, and he very simply uh, just shared this and asked others what they thought about the uh, towel monkey animal hanging from the ceiling. I, I can empathize. I, I can see that if you're unfamiliar, you walk into a dark cabin and something's hanging from your ceiling that wasn't there previously, that could be a big deal. However, the thing that I do take exception with, uh, that I am challenged with, is the fact that she said she changed her cabin attendant. Basically, what this lady is saying is that maliciously, this cabin attendant tried to scare her and her mother. Um, I don't even know what to think about that. I realize that I am not, I'm not that important that some stranger is going to go out of their way to scare me. But yet this lady in her life has, has suspected that this cabin attendant has gone out of their way to scare them on their cruise vacation. Um, look, I'm not a huge fan of the towel animals. I haven't made any secrets about that. Uh, they're cute. I've never been frightened by one. But man, to make the leap from a swinging monkey towel animal to the cabin attendants out to get me seems like a pretty big leap. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Just a, just a quick question to you guys, two questions. Uh, leave a comment below. First of all, uh, are you frightened by the hanging towel monkey animal? Uh, and please be nice to the original poster. We don't know why she's scared. Uh, but does it, fear, does it frighten you? And number two, uh, do you believe that there are people in your lives that are out to get you? Or do you believe that there's people on cruise ships that are out to get you? Um, yeah, you never know what you're gonna find on the internet. But uh, thankfully, 
Uh, you can find them in one easy place over on John Held's Facebook page. Uh, if you've never been there, I will leave a link to that below and uh, we will see what comes up next for the next Dear John. Now, do you like this kind of video? Uh, do, is it something worth your two or three minutes? If so, please hit the like button. And if you're new to La Lita Loca, uh, we make all kinds of videos and this is a new kind. Uh, we also make uh, cruise vlogs and cruise tips and cruise news and just about anything to do with cruising. And a lot of times it's, uh, it's more with my wife, the beautiful Jenny. So uh, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can take part in all the fun. Uh, and check out our cruising community on Facebook, the La Lita Loca Cruising Community, and go to our website, www.lalitaloca.com for everything that's going on with us. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, be safe out there and uh, watch out for the uh, hanging monkey towel animal. Again, my name's Tony from La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.